Sit down, relax. How's everybody doing today? Good. Doing good. Thanks for coming out. It's a beautiful day here in New York. Um, we were, it was snowing out in Colorado when I left, so it's nice to, to get away. All right, so today is uh, Street Fighter. So what is Street Fighter, right? So Street Fighter is my 23 years experience. It's, it's everything I learned on and off the battlefield. It was during my evolution as a Special Forces uh, Green Beret. I have worked in 27 countries. I've been in permissive and non-permissive environments. So how does a 210 pound Asian work in countries like Yemen, where everybody's trying to kill you, in Libya, right? So you have to be smart. It's not just about you know, the physical aspects of combat. You have to be smart, all right? You have to dive into intelligence to understand your situation and your environment. So a lot of people always ask me, hey man, you know, to you, you do all this Kung Fu stuff, right? And uh, do you think it'll work in the ring? Do you think it'll work in MMA fighting? Well, fuck man. I think the real question is, why don't you pull an MMA fighter and put him in a gunfight, right? Because that's the real world. Don't be so confined in the way you think. Don't be so um, regimented in what you see on television as, wow, that, that shit works, right? Because in sports, it's a sport, okay? And I, I need you to understand that because that's the root. That's the seed of today, right? You must kind of reprogram what you perceived as what would work, okay? So let me, let me, let me explain this to you. So during my evolution as a Green Beret, I traveled to 27 countries. I lived with rebel forces. I had to train these indigenous forces. We had to fight. We had to overthrow countries. We had to suppress uh, conflicts in certain areas. And through this comes an understanding because you're, you are embedded with the locals. And what I found out through all my years is that martial arts, right? I've been training in martial arts since I was eight years old. But what I realized during combat was martial art is a really washed down, diluted method. And let me explain that to you. What do you think martial art was developed for? What does martial arts mean? Martial, military, tactics, right? But through time of peace, because at the beginning of time, during the frugal periods of whatever country, war stating periods, every country had a war stating period to get where we are today. Through war comes peace. So those martial arts were developed in times of war. It was through the times of peace where everything get diluted and things get broadcast on TVs and channels. And then that's where the general population says that will work. That will work. Well, I'll, I'll let you understand this, that if you try to square off in a fist fight in real life, and there's guys with machetes, you're gonna lose, you understand? If you don't understand your situation awareness and you're trying to fight and the other guy is trying to look for a club and it's gonna hit you in the head or he has multiple, you have multiple threats around you and all you are is concentrated on that, that, that threat in front of you, you're gonna lose. If you come in with a mindset of going overseas and not being able to go in the streets and picking up a blade or some kind of weapon to arm yourself because you understand that maybe your fighting skills is not up to par with five or six dudes coming at you. Uh, my skills are not up to par for five or six guys coming at me. You arm me with a blade, then it could be different. Understand? So you need to come up with these... Uh, you need to come up with a very lethal mindset, okay? And with, within that mindset, you need to control your abilities, right? I'm gonna train you to the most lethal person that I can, and then it's up to you to understand your situational awareness, all right? What's the laws here in New York to carry blades? Okay. I don't know your, your laws, but I know my laws and where I am. But this is the thing is, that was a test. If you don't know your laws in this state, then you don't know your situation. You don't understand your environment. 
you carry a fucking machete around here, right, or whatever, and that's against the law, then obviously you're going to get arrested, understand? You have to understand your operational environment. When I worked overseas, I had to be sensitive to my operational environment. I couldn't be this ugly American going into Libya and walking around with fucking guns all over me unless I want to get kidnapped. You understand? You got to lower that posture. All right? Okay. So understand a street fighter, it's just all that. It's street smart. It's understanding the situation. It's planning your routes. It's understanding that once I exit this building, it would take me 15 minutes on this time of day and this amount of traffic to get from this point to this point, understand? If you understand all that, right, then that's the jump. But what is Street Fighter? Street Fighter is you fucked up. Everything else, all your tactics, all your strategy, you fucked up, and there's the enemy right here at this distance right here. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they close ground, right? So. In the wars in the Philippines and Afghanistan, we had uh, what's called standard. That means that we maximize the effective use of our weaponry, okay, our, our, our guns. But what I quickly found out was during my time in Iraq, when we had to close in ground with the enemy, when the enemy is this close, what do you lose? You lose distance. When you lose distance, you lose what? Time. Time. You lose distance, you lose time. So it's a different fight. So if we're here to here, and you, let's say your arm, you have a blade or a gun on you, it's a different fight at that, that time. If you're trying to reach for a blade or a gun, unless, you are, unless you're at presentation or unless you're bladed, ready to go, it's gonna be very difficult for you to employ any weaponry within this range, unless you're ready. So Street Fighter is, do we walk around with guns and knives on the ready position? Right, you don't. So you have to take my lesson and put it into your world. Your world is you're probably walking around some bladed uh, concealed position, right? If you're even carrying something. Okay, if you're not carrying something, then why not? If I don't have a fucking knife on me, what do you think I carry on me? A pen, a pencil. Right? Something that I could fucking dig that thing into somebody. Something I can use as a weapon. If you don't have a weapon, you find a weapon. You can find a weapon in the grocery store. You have to think outside the box right now. Okay? You have to think outside the box. I want you to put yourself in a country, all right, or in a state that won't ha allow you to have any weapons. That's Street Fighter. Street Smarts. All right, so now we're entering this distance. When you enter this distance, you lose time. So how do you make time? Gabe. Okay.